Ladies and gentlemen, this is our 1978 Ford F-350 Camper Special. For those of you who are familiar with the 73 to 79 model, uh, they predominantly had round headlights. Uh, 78, late 77, 78, 79, they started making the transition to square, and you could get them obviously with whatever package you have, and they also with the grill inserts. Uh, this truck came from the factory, factory chrome bumper. And ladies and gentlemen, it came from the factory. I get a lot of questions on this. Yes, the factory 460. Here's the original stickers on it from 1978. That's the coating they used. We're not familiar with that. And it had a cast iron manifold on it with a Motorcraft four barrel. Uh, we had to get rid of that. It's got a Performer 460 on it now with the Holly 770. It has uh, a set of rod main bearings rolled in it and a freeze plugs were replaced and we advanced the camshaft four degrees which livened it up quite a bit. Now, this is R12 air conditioning. It still has R12 in it. We changed the pulley, the belt, we're good to go. This truck, super cooling package, 460. External transmission cooler, uh, 460 for your large 12 foot campers and people towing their recreational vehicles, boats, trailers, whatever along with the camper. They had a lot of weight so the transmission was under tremendous, uh, tremendous strain. This is a catalyst sticker from 1978. It's still on the side of the engine, still on the valve cover. It's pink that year. I believe in 77 it was green or yellow. Uh, I can't remember. I used to have one back then. Jack. Winter whopper. Winter wash fluid still works. Fire brake unit had, or master zone had to be replaced. Now, these Fords are bad about rusting out under the hood. As you can see, there's no rust here anywhere. Along with our factory hood installation. Installation kit is still on the vehicle. It's in pretty good shape. The trim on the side is good. Uh, there's no rust on the fenders. Uh, the cap supports on these are bad about rusting out. However, that is not the case on this truck. 16 fives from the factory had to go. 16s radial. Nobody wants to rag tire 16 fives anymore. At least I don't. And the goofy spoke rims. That's California stuff. We're not in California. This cowling on this truck is galvanized. If you see one of these rusted out or got holes in it, you're doing something. Minimal amount of rust on the drip rail. Right here. We can live with that. Uh, somebody made off the mirrors. Uh, but the doors, other than that, are straight. They're still closed. They're still lined up. There's no rust. Here on the cowlings or on the door jams. Uh, when you bought a Lariat, you got the fancy door trim that went on the door panels. And you had your map holder, your flashlight holder, your junk holders. Glass still works. Everything still works. Locking windows, vent windows. Now, on the Lariat package, we had the fancy headliner with the emblems in this is the original stuff here. Never been touched. I, we wiped it down a few times. Haven't done anything to it. Now, for those of you younger YouTube viewers, headlights, intermittent wipers, obviously the air conditioning vent. This is where the factory uh, uh, cruise control was set in your automatic. And once again, for the younger viewers, you have your fuel tank, your main. An auxiliary, you flip on the fly, heating and air conditioning, cold warm, fan control, radio, doesn't work. Now, electric, hydraulic over electric brake controller, Kelsey Hayes, from the 70s, still works. We tow our trailer with it, we haven't had any problems. All the wiring, everything's still good. Hood lock from the factory, you can lock your hood down. Uh, disconnect your battery, keep the less desirables from running off the vehicle. All right, uh, I had the glare, anti glare mirror as well. I'll get out, you'll see we had the seat. We had to have the seat redone because the factory cloth seat with the vinyl lily was obviously dilapidated beyond repair. After 40 years of sitting in the weather, it was junk. Now, behind the seat storage, oh look, there's all our stuff we've been missing. Huh, I should probably do that more often. Yeah, now. Ladies and gentlemen, the lesser desirables were hauling this thing to the scrapyard. All right, 
That would have been a huge waste. Fortunately, it was divine intervention. We were able to save this truck. There's no point taking it to the scrapyard. It still runs. Now, when you have a 460, you got two gas tanks. You got your main, you got your auxiliary. Because you're 9.7 miles a gallon, whether you like it or not, uphill, downhill, tailwind, headwind, 320, maybe 330 mile range, you better be looking for a place. Now, if anybody will notice on these camper special, you will notice that the rear axle is further back on the truck than your regular standard F250, S350 non camper special. The wheelbase is seven. Seven inches longer, which is a 140 wheelbase on this versus the standard 133 wheelbase, making this bed unique to these vehicles only. This bed will not fit on any other truck unless it's a 350 dual wheel that uh, is a state bed. Now, if you look in the bed of the truck, you will notice it's not a concave bed, it's got straight sides on it for added rigidity for the campers and the big hump over here. It's for the spare tire, and those three lumps of coal over there, well, if we get somewhere and run out of gas, we could perhaps barter with that and get some gas. You never know. Now, tailgate, all original. Uh, it takes a lot of work to get these uh, anodized back to factory specs. We're going to leave it alone for now. From the factory, chrome bumper. We haven't done anything to it. Still got a few little battle scars in it. I uh, got hit once or twice. Looks like I got hit with a forklift here, if I recall. Class 5 hitch uh, for towing your trailer, your RVs, whatever. Uh, you see under there, there is no room on this model for a spare tire. So what, we've, what they've done is they've moved the spare tire on this truck to the side of the bed right here. On your standard F250s, 350s, and 150s of the day, the toolbox was right in here. Obviously, the whole side of the bed comes out and will accommodate a 265 tire, which we don't have one in it right now. We're going to. Uh, this side, again, no rust. Uh, there's no cab rust here. Fancy door panels here. This door works. We also have a padded dash. Very good condition. Uh, this vehicle sits in the garage now. We don't leave it sitting out uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, this truck had a sliding window back then. You could communicate with the driver or the passenger of the camper. Uh, some of them had, some campers had sliding windows if you wanted to communicate or they didn't recommend you had people in the camper when you're riding, but you know how that is when you're on vacation with a bunch of kids. Right, so our F-350 Ranger Lariat. This, this badge is better than the other badge. And this is it. I've gotten, I've been I've been off work, so I've been getting a lot of compliments. I've been driving around town for the past couple of days, and I've been getting a lot of compliments. So I decided to make a video, post it, and see what happens. So what we also have, ladies and gentlemen, is we have a 24 valve Cummins and the automatic, and we're thinking about getting rid of the 460 and putting in a 24 valve Cummins because everybody loves coming. The 460 is the man, pass everything but the gas station. My son has a six liter in his truck. Unfortunately, can't keep up the old blue goose here. So we're thinking about changing over to a Cummins. And we hope you enjoyed this video. 1978 F-350 Camper Special.